Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Folks, very recently I uploaded a video showing you the 5 essential Indian spices that you should have in your kitchen. If you haven't seen that video, click here on the i button and watch that. And I thought to myself, let's make a recipe that uses all those spices. So today we're going to be making some keto stuffed bell peppers and we're going to use those spices to flavor our ground beef and it's going to be delicious. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. For this recipe, I'm going to be using ground beef, but you can make it with chicken, turkey, lamb or even pork. Now look at the white bits in my ground beef, that's all beef fat which adds flavor. However, you want to try and get ground beef with 10 to 15% fat, anything more and it gets too greasy. I'm going to slice up my onion for the stuffing and I'm using a small red onion which is about 70 grams and look at how I'm slicing the onion. This apparently makes you cry less when you cut it and also it's going to add more texture to the stuffing so cut it like this. I'm also going to roughly chop up some fresh coriander which we'll use right at the end for our stuffing. And finally I will preheat my oven to 200 degrees celsius before I get cooking. For this recipe, I am going to use one green, one yellow and one red bell pepper. However, you can use any color you like but remember, the green ones have the least amount of carbs in them. Now many people will stand the pepper up and chop off the top and stuff the pepper. But I find that it's not a very smart thing to do since the peppers often don't stand upright properly. Which is why I choose to cut it right down the middle and make it like a boat. You can also get a lot more surface area to cover with cheese when you bake it and who doesn't want more cheese right? So slice it down the middle and then take out the seeds and anything else you find inside the bell pepper. I'm leaving the stalk on because it looks cool and it holds the whole thing together. Anyway do this to all your peppers, first the green, then the yellow and then the red and you should have your peppers prepped and ready to rock and load. Now I will get my baking tray, I will place the peppers in, skin side up and unfortunately my baking tray couldn't fit all of them so I had to leave one half of a pepper out. Then I spray them with some pan spray and I season it with salt. You could also brush on some olive oil if you don't have pan spray and then these go into my preheated oven for 10 minutes to cook. Time to make our stuffing and I'm gonna get my pan on the stove and heat up about a tablespoon of ghee. Then into the ghee goes my onions and now it's time to saute those onions. We're looking to caramelize these onions and really bring out their flavor. And to do that I will season them with a bit of salt. I also like to season this dish along the way to build layers and layers of flavor. Patiently saute those onions and once they start getting nice and brown around the edges, it's time to add in our beef. And keep that heat up on a medium to high heat and saute that beef as well. Now it's going to release some water and that fat is going to render out and melt and then when the water dries up, the beef will fry with those onions in its own fat and the ghee of course. Once most of the beef juices have dried up, we are going to add in our ginger and garlic paste, season very generously with salt and now we add in all our spices. We got some turmeric, red chilli powder, cumin powder, coriander powder and garam masala and then give it all a good mix. Now we want to cook out the rawness of the spices and the ginger and garlic so keep stirring it and sautéing it and you will see your beef get a beautiful, deep, rich color from all the spices. Honestly, you can eat this as it is but I'm going to take this to the next level by adding in some canned tomatoes. And I'm also going to add in some water. Remember, beef and tomatoes are a great combination. I'm going to give everything a good mix and then cover it with the lid and cook it for 10 minutes on a medium heat. Meanwhile, my bell peppers have finished their first round of cooking and I've taken them out of the oven. I'm just gonna flip them over and then they can grab a drink, sit back, relax and cool down till they're ready to be stuffed. After 10 minutes, I open up the lid on my beef and you can see that most of the liquid has dried out and we have a nice dry but still saucy mixture. Into that, I'm going to add 50 grams of cream cheese 
and give everything a good mix. You can also use sour cream if you like. Heavy cream is also okay. If you want to be dairy free, coconut cream will also do. Completely your choice. And now just look at how creamy and delicious and unctuous that stuffing looks. Now I turn off the heat and I finish it with some fresh coriander and of course you got to give it one final good mix. Now you could totally eat this with a spoon right now but I urge you to hang on. Anyway that's our beef stuffing for the bell peppers done and ready and it looks so good. Let me just jibber jabber for a bit so you can see some serious food porn. Anyway time to stuff those bell peppers. Now I get a spoon and I stuff those peppers with the beef mixture and make sure you pack each pepper with a whole lot of meat. Emphasis on the word stuffed in the name stuffed bell peppers. Once you've stuffed the bell peppers well then it's time to add on some cheese and I'm just using some shredded mixed cheese. Once again you can use any cheese you like or if you are dairy free then just no cheese. Time to pop these back into the oven at the highest temperature possible till all the cheese melts and turns golden brown. This takes about 10 minutes. After what seemed like a very long 10 minutes, mostly because I was hungry, the bell peppers are done and ready. And just look at that cheese on the top, how nice and golden and crispy it's gotten. Yummy! And that's it folks, our keto stuffed bell peppers are done and ready. One yellow, one green and one red. Stuffed with a glorious meat sauce made from water buffalo beef. But before we taste it, you know I can't let you go without cutting into one of those peppers and showing you a cross section. So I get out my knife and fork and I cut right through that pepper. And whoo yeah, just look at that juicy cross section. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste our stuffed bell peppers and look who's joining me, it's my brother Shom. Are you ready Shom? I'm ready to eat awesome. some, what are, what are we eating? These are stuffed bell peppers. I figured that but what, what is it stuffed it's with? It's stuffed with ground beef cooked with onions, tomatoes and spices. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, begin. I'm going to do the same and of course there's cheese. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Mmm, mmm, but cheesy and creamy. Mmm. You know, I'm not particularly fond of bell peppers, but the flavor of the beef and the cheese and whatever you've put in it is so good that I can only feel the texture of the bell pepper, but I'm not really tasting the bell pepper. Right. Which is great. So I think even if you like bell peppers, it's good. And even if you don't like bell peppers, it's good. Yeah, the bell pepper is a vehicle for the delicious yeah, goodness I mean, of the water buffalo yeah I mean, if you really don't like bell peppers just take a spoon and scoop out the filling also right. you can probably put the filling you can probably just eat the filling in if a we bowl. don't yeah that's right yeah if you don't like bell peppers just make the filling and eat it but it looks nice though in the bell pepper it looks like restaurant quality food awesome so i can definitely say my brother has given it the horns up yeah, yeah for sure horns up everything up it's all up yeah i think we're just gonna go and finish eating now because this is delicious and i will see you on the next episode of headbangers kitchen mm -hmm. until then Cheers and keep cooking.